This is the thing that I'm holding around my neck now. I will take the hood from the student, I will fix it, and I will hand it to you and step out of the way so that you can hood your student. A couple of crucial things that matter here. One, the student will be walking up closest to the audience. The advisor will be farthest from the audience. You will walk behind me, I will hand you the hood, it'll be fine. The first few people will get it right, the rest of you please pay attention. 
if your advisor is not here or there is no one here to hood you, I will hood you. Everybody got it? Okay, now, a couple of other things that are important. Some of you are tall. Some of you are less tall. If your advisor is significantly less taller than you, I will whisper to you, please bend. I'll say bend a little or bend a lot. Bend at your knees, do not bend like this, okay? If you bend like this and you fall, we will laugh at you very, 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 very much, okay? So, listen out for me. You'll bend slightly at the knees, all the way at the knees, whatever. We'll get the hood on you. You'll walk across the stage, shake hands with the president, go around, and then it's official. All right, everybody got it? Okay, now, we're gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna do my job. Oh, by the way, students, there are feet there. Go stand on the feet. You'll see them when you get there. That's where you're gonna stand. That's where they'll take pictures. You see where she is? That's really important, so it's easy for us to get your picture so you can send it to your family. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna do my job. We're gonna demonstrate up there, okay? Everybody ready for this? Is everybody paying attention? All right, here we go. Stop. You're hooding her, right? No, you're, you're gonna, you gotta go with her. You gotta hood. No, 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 I'm not resting. Uh, okay. Who want, you wanna hood her? Walk, walk with okay, her through the hood. Okay, okay he'll hood. All right, go down there with her. Students think, come up. <laughs> you, will bend ever so, you will go behind me. You will bend ever so slightly. Face the audience. Everyone face the audience. I hand you the hood. Bend slightly. And it is done. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, wait. That's it. One last little piece of advice for those of you, if you have a shirt with buttons, this little thing here that's on the end of your hood, wrap it around your button and close it. That'll prevent all of this from happening while you're sitting in your seat and you're walking around, okay? That's what it's for. Got it? Okay, well I think that's it. I will see you on stage. Please do not mess up. Have a wonderful morning. Congratulations and go Jackets. Thank you so much. We'll start in another five or ten minutes. I'll check what time it is. We'll start at 10 o'clock.
Welcome to Georgia Tech's Spring Commencement. Students, please rise for the faculty processional. Good morning and welcome. Buenos dias, bienvenidos. Please rise and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket red glare of bombs bursting in air through the night that our flag was still. Spangled banner yet waved for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. My name is uh, Angel Cabrera. I have the privilege of serving as Georgia Tech's president. Very excited about today. We have ordered dry weather for you. We'll see whether our order was taken. Before we get started with uh, today's proceedings, I would like for us to take a moment to recognize all veterans, active service members with us today, as well as all first responders who day after day take care of all of us. All of you who are in any of those categories, please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you. Graduates, members of the faculty and staff, distinguished guests, families, and friends, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 264th commencement exercises at the Georgia Institute of Technology. It is indeed a great pleasure to be together marking this very special day in Bobby Dodd Stadium. The first speaker today will be one of our graduating students. I'm pleased to introduce 
Yasir El Masri, a PhD candidate in architecture, who will give the reflection. Yasir. Doctor of Philosophy. I recall years ago when I was first applying to Georgia Tech, reading that title and thinking, why on earth would they call it that? Why not Doctor of Architecture or Doctor of Engineering? It certainly made more sense. After all, we were applying to be specialists in our individual fields, pushing the boundaries of knowledge further and ushering in a new age of scientific development. How philosophy fit into that remained a mystery to me. Four years ahead, I stand here corrected and testifying to you and the world of the errors of my judgment and the naivety of my perception of what a PhD at Georgia Tech really is. As a triple jacket who is now walking on this stage for the third time in four years, yep, I can safely tell you that at Tech, the most valuable lessons you learn are those you do not seek in the first place. So allow me, in my newfound wisdom, to share with you a list of isms that explain why exactly we stand among you today, marble statue-worthy doctors of philosophy. In daring to apply to a Georgia Tech PhD and tackle the most pertinent problems of our time, we learned the merits of idealism and progressivism. When our advisors encouraged us to think bigger when we first pitched our hypotheses, and deeper about our impact when we shared our conclusions, we learned the virtues of humanism and probably healthy loads of stoicism. By working with others, complementing our skill sets, and making lifelong friends and partners in the process, we learned the value and joy of collaborativism. Challenges made us stronger, triumphs pushed us further, and rejections and criticisms, mainly by pesky reviewer number two, humbled us and made us realize we still had much to learn and way more to grow. Through that, we learned the wisdom of rationalism and pragmatism. And finally, in dedicating our lives to the betterment of humanity and occasionally setting aside our own work and struggles, to lend a hand and an ear for those who came knocking at our office doors late at night, we learned, perhaps most importantly, the true meaning of altruism. Georgia Tech undoubtedly then makes us better humans and scientists, but it also transforms us into sages and orders. Change then is forever the yellow jacket way. From larvae to pupa to full-grown yellow jackets, we walk through its gates on our first day as seekers of knowledge and metamorph metamorphose and is so much more than that. So proud PhDs, parents, partners and pals, lend me your stingers. Look and remember these face, faces adorned and robed in navy and shimmering gold. Georgia Tech changed them much for them to go and change the world. Congratulations, doctors. We did it. Thank you, Yasser. By the way, I'm still triggered by that uh, reviewer number two. So thank you for bringing that up. Graduates, today you will be joining the impressive community of Georgia Tech alumni, a community of leaders, innovators, thinkers, and doers who are making a difference across our state and around the world. Many of them are here today to celebrate your success, our alumni, appreciate your accomplishments, perhaps more than anyone, and they may, may even be part of the reason why you're here today. To all our alumni joining in the audience today, please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you. I love to see those legacies growing. To welcome you formally into the Fellowship of Georgia Tech alumni, I am pleased to introduce Maget Riyad, an industrial engineering graduate from the class of 2001 and the chair of the Georgia Tech Alumni Association Board of Trustees. Good morning. As Yasser said, you did it. Soak it in. Give yourself a huge round of applause. This is a special day. Applause 
I have the privilege of serving as the chair of the Alumni Association this year, and it has been a tremendous year of impactful relationships and events to see how much our alumni do with this marvelous institute. As a fellow Yellow Jacket, it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you into one of the most respected and coveted networks in the world. You are now part of a family of 190,000 alumni globally. As you share today with your friends, your family, professors, the Georgia Tech community, we are all so proud of the effort that you have put in and excited about the next chapter to see you grow, accomplish, and become who you were supposed to be. And just as the alumni who came before you, everyone will have unique plans and pursuits. Together, we share the Georgia Tech experience of receiving our rat caps, studying late for an exam, and of course, all the fun and hard work that comes with being at Georgia Tech. I graduated in 2001 with an industrial engineering degree. I worked hard, as you all have, and sometimes my grades did not reflect that. My educational experience at Georgia Tech challenged me to work my hardest and put my energy where it counts. As I set off into the professional world, I quickly realized and benefited from what it meant to be a Yellow Jacket. And being a Yellow Jacket has immensely helped my career, starting a company, and excelling in industry. As we share our time from tech, we share the power of perseverance, how to problem solve, how to remain cool under pressure. You will go far because of these traits, and you will come to appreciate, as I have, how these traits will benefit you in your pursuits. And you will realize how important it is to rely on your Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket community. The people that are sitting next to you are gonna help carry you forward as you move to new cities, move up in industries, and take on new challenges. I urge you to stay connected with Georgia Tech and the Alumni Association. It is an incredible network, and we are here to connect you with other alumni. And we've been rooting for you and celebrating you since your first day on campus and so excited to see this day come. So stay engaged and stay in touch. Let us celebrate with you when you get a new job, get married, expand your family, move to a new city, or get your first promotion. We are gonna provide you with leads, connections, job networking opportunities, events on campus and in the local community, as well as friendships that will continue to last a lifetime. You can always call Tech home. This is a special place, steeped in tradition, and then as alumni, you will always be part of that family. May your pursuits be, writ be successful, your friendships rich, and your life full of buzz. Go Jackets! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. So this weekend, we celebrate an outstanding new class of bachelors, masters, and this morning, PhD graduates from the Georgia Tech class of 2023. Um, the, uh, the, the people that we, that we honor today represent more than 40 countries, a multitude of disciplines. Just look at the colleagues sitting around you you're surrounded by scholars versed in chemistry and biology and physics and history and psychology, bright minds who can derive intelligence from complex data innovators, who can build satellites, robots, bridges, medical devices, leaders who can create and run businesses, who can shape policy for the better. You're all yellow jackets. You're confident, capable, creative problem solvers, you have traveled the world, you can communicate in dozens of languages. You understand the power of collaboration and have been empowered to lead. You make me, all of us, extremely hopeful about the future. But for all this potential to make a difference, there is something I ask you to always remember. Progress and service. Progress and service are more than two words on the seal of our institute. They define us. 
They speak to our long-held belief in the power of scientific and technological progress to improve the human condition, to help people live better lives. I know each of you will succeed wherever you go next, whether you pursue a career in academia or government, help lead a well-established company, or some of you will be starting your own companies. I know you'll make us all proud. In fact, when you're rich and famous, expect a call from our development office. They're extremely good at finding you. But as much as I wish you a successful career, remember that our true success won't be measured by the wealth we accumulate, but by the value we create for others. At the end of the day, what will make you proud and what will make your family and will make all of us proud is what you did to lift others, to serve and support those around you, to make a difference in our world. Joining us here in person and many of them following us online are family members, friends, colleagues whose love and support have helped make this day possible for you. Our students know perfectly well they wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for that, we thank each one of you. We must also recognize the faculty and staff members who have guided and mentored the students, offering time, wisdom, and expertise to help our Yellow Jackets reach their fullest potential. With members of our faculty and staff, please stand so we can also recognize you. Thank you for work well done. Now I'm honored to introduce some members of our leadership team who are joining me here on the platform. Please hold your applause as they stand when I call their names. We have Shawi Abdallah, who's our Executive Vice President for Research, Larry Jacobs, who's our Senior Vice Provost for Education and Learning, Michelle Reinhardt, Vice Provost for Faculty, Charles Isbell, Dean of College of Computing, as you know, uh, Hooding Assistant and Hooding Master, uh, Shitakshi Thongdi, Associate Dean, Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts, Javier Irizarri, Associate Dean, College of Design, Sumen Ghosh, Senior Associate Dean, Scheller College of Business, David Collard, Senior Associate Dean, College of Science. Also, I have Doug Williams, Senior Associate Dean, College of Engineering, Sky Duckett, Vice President and Chief, Human Resource Officer, Blair Meeks, Associate Assistant Vice President for Communications, and Rita Pikowski, our Registrar. Our maze bearer today, Leslie Sharp, is the Dean of Libraries. Thank you all very much. I have played different roles at Georgia Tech over the years. I have been a student myself, an alum, a spouse, a parent, an advisor, and now president. So I know very well that being a yellow jacket is something very special, something you will treasure for the rest of your life. I also know how transformative a Georgia Tech degree is like so many other alumni over the generations, I can proudly say that nothing I have accomplished in my career would have been possible without the opportunities I had at Georgia Tech and the people I met here. Now it's your turn. You will be forever connected to this great institution, and we cannot wait to see the great things you will continue to do. Congratulations, class of 2023. And now it is my honor to introduce one of those Georgia Tech alums, who's in fact also a faculty member and a philanthropist, Michael Mesner. Mike's outstanding contributions to the tech community are a testament to our motto of progress and service. He earned his civil engineering degree on our beautiful campus and following a hugely successful career in finance, returned to campus years later to focus on a different kind of investment, an investment in Georgia Tech and our students. Mike currently serves as a professor of the practice in the Scheller College of Business where he teaches 
infrastructure, finance, and equity investment to the next generation of problem solvers. Before joining our world-class faculty, Mike co-founded the Equity Hedge Fund Seminole Management Company, serving as its chief investment officer for more than 20 years. Together with his wife, Jenny, who is also with us today, the Mesners have made philanthropy, philanthropy a cornerstone of their lives. Their family foundation focuses on urban education and urban parks. They have been especially generous to Georgia Tech. One of their first major gifts was to the Wayne Clough Georgia Tech Promise Scholarship, which provides a debt-free education to students from low-income Georgia families. The Mesners also funded tech research, which shows the positive effects of green space in major U.S. cities. And that work has also changed the way we look at our very own campus. Mike is an emeritus member of the Georgia Tech Foundation, which is yet another of the many ways he has made a profound impact on our lives. Before I turn the podium over to Mike, we have one very exciting order of business to attend to the honorary degree. It is the most significant honor a university can confer to an individual. And we are very proud to bestow Georgia Tech's honorary degree on Mike Messner for his unyielding commitment and service to our institute. I'm gonna ask the provost and Mike himself to join me up here for a second. And yes, sir, it took you four years. It took Mike a lifetime of work, so. But he got here eventually. So the honorary degree citation, just please stand here so that everybody can see. Thank you. The citation reads as follows. The president and faculty of the Georgia Institute of Technology, to all to whom these presents may come, greeting Whereas Michael G. Messner is an inspirational and visionary leader in the finance industry and in his community, has forever enriched his country through strategic support of educational scholarship programs and efforts to restore and expand public parks and green spaces in major American cities, and has tirelessly supported his alma mater through volunteer service and leadership, and along with his wife, Jenny, provided generous philanthropy as well as inspired others to give to the Institute, profoundly affecting Georgia Tech now and forever. Now, therefore, we do hereby confer the degree of honorary doctor of philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereunto appertaining. In witness whereof the signatures of the Chancellor of the University System and the President and the Registrar of the Georgia Institute of Technology are here to subscribe, and the seal of the Institute is affixed. Um, Mike Messner, with this distinguished honor, we proudly recognize your leadership, scholarship, and contributions to Georgia Tech, the city of Atlanta, the greater state of Georgia, and beyond. On behalf of the entire Yellow Jacket community, thank you and congratulations. President Cabrera, Provost McLaughlin, distinguished faculty, special graduates, and their families and friends. Thank you very much for this recognition. I am truly honored. I've experienced some great universities in the country directly and through my family and friends and colleagues. In my opinion, Georgia Tech is the best of those I know. Quietly excellent. I like to say Georgia Tech is excellence without arrogance. I want to thank all the Georgia Tech friends Jenny and I have made over the years. As we all know, tech produces good people, good people. And it's a blessing to get to know some of these people later in my life and call them friends. I also want to thank my family, especially my wife Jenny, for being part of the journey. Your family is critical to your success. My wife, my children, my siblings have all supported me through the years. 
And I'm proud to say we have five tech grads. I had four down, but I figured out we'd have another fifth one as well. Five tech grads so far in the family. And with seven, soon to be eight grandchildren, I expect to have a few more. Success is preparation, is when preparation meets opportunity. And Georgia Tech is unparalleled among colleges in terms of preparing one to embrace opportunities. Georgia Tech trained me as a civil engineer, but the school also provided me with analytical and problem solving skills. That background enabled me to adapt as life led me to down different career paths. When I needed a job, after some time in the railroad industry, I found an opening as a transportation analyst for an investment firm. While I had never invested in stocks before, my family had no money to have a portfolio, I had taken engineering economics at, at Tech, so I knew how to value cash flows. And as I tell my students at Tech, if there's something that interests you during your career, raise your hand and say, I can do that because the skills you learned at Tech have enabled you to do almost anything. Great investments generate substantial returns over an extended period of time. And the best investment I've made was my Bachelor of Science degree from Georgia Tech. I've come to appreciate the Tech degree more and more each year, and it's apparent that the best days of Tech are ahead of it. You just have to endure the construction of Midtown to understand the impact tech is having. And tech's impact goes way beyond Atlanta as the institute is clearly global with students, faculty from all over the world doing research worldwide. You as PhD candidates now have your special investment, your PhD degree from Georgia Tech. It was not easy, much harder than mine, okay? You probably spent at least five years after your bachelor's or master's to complete the doctoral degree. And during those five years, you did in-depth research in your field of study and prepared a dissertation. And you oftentimes performed additional research for a professor or did teaching assistant work as a grader. And why? We all know it was not for the money. It was more about the love of knowledge the love of education, and the love of your field of study. Thank you for sacrificing so much, expanding knowledge in your field. But don't stop learning in your field, and especially outside your field. One thing I learned from moving from civil engineering into finance and then investing, you can't stop learning. You need to embrace differing opinions. So keep working in your field, but also embrace new opportunities new areas of study, and people with different opinions. As Angel mentioned, President Cabrera, the PhD effort epitomizes the motto of Georgia Tech, progress and service. What a simple but powerful motto, progress and service. Progress, the idea that advances in science and technology improve the human condition, and service, applying technology and your education to a better society and environment. I want to thank you on behalf of your fellow citizens for your PhD effort, for embracing Tech's progress and service model. Thank you for sacrificing much in devotion to improving knowledge of your field. Thank you for applying your knowledge to critical problems we face as a society, whether in health, environment, or just human welfare. And should you stay in academia, thank you for educating future scholars and innovators. So congratulations to all the PhD students on your special investment, your PhD degree from the Georgia Institute of Technology. And congratulations to your families who have supported you in your education journey. And again, thank you for your efforts to date and good luck in your careers. Thank you, Mike, for sharing those words of, uh, of wisdom. I love the way you, you, you thanked our, our doctoral candidates for, for that investment. That was very special. We now come to the, night, the time that you have been all waiting for, the hooding ceremony, the award, the conferring of your doctoral degree. 
uh, walking across this stage and receiving your hood represents the culmination of a great deal of hard work and an incredible achievement for each of our graduates. I ask that after you receive your on-stage recognition, you return to your seat and show your fellow students the same respect they have given you. Again, there are some magic words I need to pronounce at the end. If you abandon the premises before I pronounce those words, your degree may or may not have all the full powers. So I, I would not test that. Um, um, before I introduce the provost who's going to lead the proceedings, I also want to give a word of appreciation to the person who's going to coordinate the hooding, who gave you a little uh, class earlier on on how to hood appropriately, and that's my colleague and dear friend, Dr. Charles Isbell, Dean of the College of Computing. Where are you, Charles? Uh, who has accepted the position as uh, provost of the University of Wisconsin in Madison, one of our leading research institutions, and as an alum, we are so proud of you, Charles. Now I am uh, pleased to welcome Provost Steve McLaughlin, who will present the candidates for doctoral degrees. Thank you, President Cabrera. You all ready? Are you all ready? It is that moment. It is that moment. Candidates for doctoral degrees, please rise and remain standing. <laughs> President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting you those candidates for doctoral degrees who have completed, yes, completed, the requirements of these degrees. Dr. Athanasios Lolos, advised by Christos Alexopoulos. Dr. Aline Banbukian, advised by Valerie M. Thomas. Dr. Stephen Ma, advised by Nicoletta Serban and Shi Hao Yang. Dr. Bhuvesh Kumar, advised by Jacob Abernathy and Jamie Morgenstern. Dr. Srinivas Ishwar, advised by Richard Wuduk and Heysun Park. Dr. Prashanth Chatarasi, advised by Vivek Sarkar and June Shirako. Dr. Richard Rutledge, advised by Alex Orso. Dr. Ka Ho Chow, advised by Ling Liu.
Dr. Shruti Lal, advised by Raghupati Sivakumar. Dr. Shrey Bunsel, advised by Charles Isbell and Diana Howard. Dr. Joshua Stephen Roper, advised by Andrew F. Peterson. Dr. Yasser El Masri, advised by Tarek Raka. Dr. Anusha Harish, advised by Dimitri Mavris. Dr. Jia Chang Xie, advised by Dimitri Mavris. Dr. Archana Tekayat Rai, advised by Dimitri Mavris. Dr. Leah Lee Harris, advised by Dimitri Mavris. Dr. Alexander Charles Brofflot, advised by Dimitri Mavris. Dr. Chloe Downs, advised by Dimitri Mavris. Dr. Yu Tsai, advised by Dimitri N. Mavris. Dr. Felipe G. Cabral, advised by Andy Sun. Dr. Adam Bernard Barrent, advised by He Wang. Dr. Mackenzie L. Hughes, advised by Scott D. Moffitt. Dr. Hassan Murtagi, advised by Swati Gupta. Dr. Athanasios Kunturas, advised by Manos Antonokakis. Dr. Chi Sun Yu, advised by Catherine Ross. Dr. Sterling John Swenningson, advised by Will Ryan Gutekunst. Dr. Shui Lin Sui. Dr. Oliver Moreno, advised by Bernard Kiplin. Dr. Yuanda Ju, advised by Mei D. Wong.
Dr. Justin E. Sakernik. Advised by Dr. Rick Thomas. Dr. Sally Collins, advised by Jennifer Hong. Dr. Xiao Chen Peng, advised by Shimeng Yu. Dr. Rebecca Guth Metzler. Advised by Lauren Williams and Jennifer Glass. Dr. Brooke Justine Rothschild Mancinelli. Advised by Lauren Williams. Dr. Matt A. Krasicki, advised by Dan Kotliar. Dr. Peter Sobel, advised by Stephen Bigelski. Dr. Chao Han Huck Yang, advised by Chin Hui Li and Sabato Marco Siniscalci. Dr. Ting Wei Wu, advised by Bing Huang Zhuang. Dr. Phoebe Jade Welch, Advised by Cheng Ji Shi and Craig Forrest. Dr. Xing Gu, advised by Hai Zhang Li. Dr. Shang Ding Sun, advised by Greg Bleckerman and Shantanu S. Day. Dr. David Michael Harper II, advised by Michael Damron. Dr. Aaron Kathleen Griffith, advised by Ellery Duke Engel. Dr. Dehyun Kim, advised by Saibal Mukhopadhyay. Dr. Nujhat Tasneem, advised by Asif Khan. Dr. Anupam Golder, advised by Arijit Rechaudhry. Dr. Mariah Lynn Shrum, advised by Matthew Gombele. Dr. Esmail Siraj, advised by Matthew Gombele. Dr. Pranav Mayank Dave, advised by Ignacio Tabuada. Mm -hmm. 
Dr. Derek Jordan Hart, advised by Harold Kim. Dr. Danielle Skinner, advised by John Wise. Dr. Thomas Cooper Day, advised by Peter Yunker and William Ratcliffe. Dr. Xiaonan Liu, advised by Xing Xing Yu. Dr. Yi Bin Liu, advised by Herman M. Fritz. Dr. Emily Grace Sacuzo, advised by Dr. Raquel L. Lieberman. Dr. Mun Tu Huang Ma, advised by Raquel Lieberman. Dr. Yu Chi Wu, advised by Raquel Lieberman. Dr. Ulises Nunez Garzon, advised by Glenn Leitze. Dr. Andrew John Fear, advised by E. Glenn Lightsey. Dr. Azra Ismail, advised by Neha Kumar. Dr. Guidado Yisa Emanuel, advised by Panagiotis Siotras and Eric Farron. Dr. Jonathan Ricky Gosain, advised by Dr. Gregory S. Sawicki. Dr. Jordan Nadine Schrader, advised by Gregory Sawicki. Dr. Lindsay Helena Trejo, advised by Gregory S. Sawicki. Dr. Paul Goliski, advised by Gregory Sawicki. Dr. Benjamin Schaefer, advised by Gregory Sawicki and Aaron Young. Dr. Dawit Lee, advised by Dr. Aaron Young. Dr. Dean Divine Molinero, 
advised by Aaron Young. Dr. Akash Bajpai, advised by Anurban Mazumdar and Aaron Young. Dr. Raymond S. Kim, advised by Anurban Mazumdar. Dr. Elizabeth Marie Spears, advised by Brittany Schmidt. Dr. Louisa Barama, advised by Andrew V. Newman. Dr. Miguel Neves, advised by Jigong Pang. Dr. Mike Rich Standish, advised by Hamid Garmistani. Dr. Simyao Zuo, advised by Tuo Zhao. Dr. Yan Bo Shu, advised by Chao Zhang and Alexei Tumanov. Dr. Meredith Ellen Fay, advised by Wilbur Lamb, MD, PhD. Dr. Alyssa Fernanda Pibus, advised by Levi Wood. Dr. Abigail Lynn Paulson, advised by Annabelle Singer. Dr. Benjamin Rainier Shipley, advised by Jenny McGuire. Dr. Juline Nicole Deppin, advised by Rebecca Levitt. Dr. Bronson Evan Cox, advised by David M. Collard. Dr. Fatima Ezahra Shreet, advised by Alexander Alexiev. Dr. Charles Alexander Topliff, advised by Morris Cohen. Dr. Andrew Robert Sedler, advised by Chathan Pandranath. Dr. Peng Hao Shu, advised by Francesca Storici.
Dr. Marshall Vincent Johnson, advised by Surya Kaladindi. Dr. Camilla Aaron Johnson, advised by Surya R. Kaladindi. Dr. Julia Madeline Allen, advised by William Judd Reddy. Dr. Sandra Stang B, advised by Josh Catcher and Olivier Piron. Dr. Stephanie Elizabeth Sandoval, advised by Matthew McDowell. Dr. Serhei Hladushaw, advised by Dennis Siganoff. Dr. Claire Stella Strickland, advised by Michael Nitsche. Dr. Aaron Jane Catherine Truesdell, advised by Brian McGurko. Dr. Pradyumna Bayapanahali Suresha, advised by Gary D. Clifford. Dr. Yi Xie, advised by Charles David Sherrill. Dr. Taun Shim, advised by Azad J. Naimi and Sung Q. Lim. Dr. Anderson M. Speed, advised by Bilal Haider. Dr. Stuart McRae Montgomery, advised by Jerry Chi. Dr. Connor David Armstrong, advised by Jerry Chi. Dr. Shruti Bahari, advised by Michael E. Davis. Dr. Aurelio Angelo Bellotti, advised by Dr. Lawrence J. Jacobs. Dr. Davina Puri, advised by Kyle R. Allison. Dr. Kate Elizabeth Kidwell, advised by Kimberly French. Dr. Ganesh Bhaskaran, advised by Preet Singh.
Dr. Krishna Murthy Shankar, advised by Professor Preet M. Singh. Dr. Z. E. Dai, advised by Randall Gensler. Dr. Tommy Nash Skipper, advised by Ted Russell. Dr. Ziki Gao, advised by Armistead Russell. Dr. Garyoshi Saha, advised by Stephen E. Ralph. Dr. Jacob Anthony Kristen, advised by Stephen Eugene Ralph. Dr. Pratik Nimblekar, advised by Ral Tumala. Dr. Rodrigo Casares Gonzalez, advised by Marta C. Hatzel. Dr. Yi Chen Lu, advised by Sung Q. Lim. Dr. Alan Liu, advised by Todd Solchek. Dr. Maiten Chi Yan Yip, advised by Craig Forrest. Dr. Dennis Andre Norfleet II, advised by Melissa Lambeth Camp. Dr. Andrew Darren Raditz, advised by Melissa L. Kemp, Ph.D. Dr. Dan Yan Zhang, advised by Melissa Kemp. Dr. Harsh Agrawal, advised by Dhruv Batra. Dr. Mohammed Saad Zia, advised by Mary Ann Whitenauer and Douglas M. Blau. Dr. Theodore Joseph Legro, advised by Shella Kyleholtz and Jeffrey Davis. Dr. Morgan Boone Weaver, advised by Julie Lindsay. Dr. Austin Lance Culberson, advised by Andre G. Fedorov. Dr. Prasoon Shuchandra, advised by Devesh Ranjan. Dr. Jose Luis Rolando Betancourt, advised by Joel Kostka.
Dr. Yue Ji, advised by James Carson Meredith. Dr. Aaron Lee Liu, advised by Martha Grover and Carson Meredith. Dr. Colton Eric Lagerman, advised by Andreas Bomerius and Martha Grover. Dr. Yayisala A. Ibikunle, advised by David Scholl. Dr. Tehun Kim, advised by Dr. Joseph K. Scott. Dr. Victor Bailey, advised by Christopher Heil. Dr. Yingxin Chu, advised by Jun Ueda. Dr. Ning Yang, advised by Gil Weinberg. Dr. Nicholas James Hines, advised by Samuel Graham. Dr. Joel R. Corporan, advised by V.J. K. Mattisetti. Dr. Noor Abebe Asmara, advised by A. Fati Sarolu. Dr. Do Huan Li, advised by A. Fati Sarioglu. Dr. Michael Chan, advised by Omer Inan. Dr. Sebda Garebagi, advised by Omar T. Ina. Dr. Milad Fronchi, advised by John D. Kressler. Dr. Jeffrey Wu Tang, advised by John D. Kressler. Dr. Sung Hoon David Lee, advised by John D. Kressler. Dr. Aria Moradinia, advised by John D. Kressler. Dr. Sukchol Lee, advised by John D. Kressler. Dr. Edgar Felipe Guerre, advised by John Kressler.
Dr. Terry Dunbar, advised by Jamie Gorman. Dr. Charles Anthony Ellis, advised by Vince D. Calhoun. Dr. Daniel Schiff, advised by Juan Rogers. Dr. Daniel Sukjun Lee, advised by Minami Yoda and Saeed Abdel Khalik. Dr. Julie Kraus, advised by Julian Ramoli and George Cardamateus. Dr. Junbo Pung, advised by Chris Wang. Dr. Ji Hyun Lee, advised by Stanislav Emilianov. Dr. Andrew Sungwook Kim, advised by Wen Shan Tsai. Dr. Jung Sok Lee, advised by Hua Wang. Dr. Amy Caroline Brummer, advised by Dr. Eric Vogel and Dr. Michael Filler. Dr. Nearby Mode, advised by Dhruv Batra. Dr. Daniel Orinaka Okebu, advised by George A. Cardomateus. Dr. Shashin Sharan, advised by Dr. Felix J. Herman. Dr. Ho Young Lee, advised by Sung Wu Lee. Dr. Jung Han Yoon, advised by Pardis Pishdad Bazorgi. Dr. Zachary B. Towner, advised by Richard W. New and Christopher L. Milstein. Dr. Paloma Castaledo Costa, advised by Francisco Robles and Ghassan Al Ragib. Dr. Christopher David Sewell, advised by Si Chin Lin and Mei Lin Liu. Dr. Jia Yu Lo, advised by Mei Lin Liu.
Dr. Sunny Se-Young Kim, advised by Brooks Lindsay. Dr. Philip Yinru Tran, advised by Jadev Desai. Dr. Jonathan Tia Yi Chang, advised by Shui Chi Takiyama. Dr. Jung Hyun Lee, advised by Baba Kashuri. Dr. Sung Il Hong, advised by Unhua Yang. Dr. Supriya Nagesh, advised by James M. Reg. Dr. Varol Burak Idemish, advised by James M. Reg and Omar T. Inan. Dr. Myung Jun Kim, advised by Christopher Sadanya. Dr. Jamie Michael Schneer Berez, advised by Christopher Saldana. Dr. Nishant Bilakanti, advised by Professor Deepak Divan. Dr. Shubhobrata Polit. Advised by Manpreet Hora and Sumen Ghosh. Dr. Christopher Green, advised by Morvarid Ramani. Dr. Mary Eve Speech, advised by Katie Bedora. Dr. Na Kyung Hyun, advised by Samuel Bond and Michael Lowe. Dr. Yu Li Hong, advised by Michael Lowe and Samuel Bond. Dr. Elizabeth Han, advised by Han Zhang. Dr. Jia Wu Yao, advised by Ming Feng Lin. Dr. Ba Shi Zhang, advised by Daniel Goldman. Dr. Sonia Bhattacharya, advised by Dr. M. G. Finn. Dr. Su Hyun Park, advised by Jesse McDaniel.
Dr. Mark Kotvich Hernicek, advised by Brian German. Dr. Olatunde Bolaji Adawumi Sani, advised by Eric Ferron and Brian German. Dr. Tian Fan Fu, advised by Ji Meng Sun. Dr. Siddharth Biswal, advised by Ji Meng Sun. Dr. Allison Lang Jennings McKinney, advised by Christopher F. Barnes and Christopher Valenta. Dr. Heather Ann Handy, advised by Susan Embritson. Dr. Mariam Hazeshki, advised by Susan E. Embertson. Dr. Yan Yan, advised by Susan Embertson. Dr. Wei Young, advised by Cameron Pinebar. Dr. Qian Wang, advised by Cameron Pinebar. Dr. Ting Li Xie, Dr. Ming He Zhang, advised by Yao Xie. Dr. Samyukta Sa, advised by Facundo Fernandez. Dr. Shuv Day, advised by Yogendra Joshi. Dr. Rahul Singh, advised by Yongxin Chen. Dr. Manan Gandhi, advised by Evangelos Theodoro. Dr. Alexandra Maxim, advised by Emily Grubert. Dr. Samuel Tehun Kwok, advised by Young Hui Chang. Dr. Adam DeBoof, advised by Richard T. Nichols.
Dr. Nevetidja Aurora, advised by Thad Starner and Gregory Abow. All right, the last part of the procedure. Will all graduates please rise? Just, just to point it out, only, only the graduates. The faculty already earned their doctorate back in the day. Just saying, <laughs> unless you want to reaffirm. All right, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Georgia Institute of Technology and by authority of the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, I now confer upon each of you a doctoral degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining, and I welcome you into the company of scholars. Please join me in congratulating these fine new graduates of Georgia Tech. And now we ask the graduates to remain standing as the president's party recesses. Then I invite all of you to join in the singing of the greatest fight song in the world, the Rambling Red. Graduates should remain at their seats until the conclusion of the fight song. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day.
Thank you for joining us to celebrate our graduates. We ask that you please exit the building to meet your students. The venue will close in 30 minutes.